Hi guys, um, I'm Liz, if we haven't met before, and uh, I've been asked to introduce you to one of the really important aspects of any trust trip. Uh, it's one that uh, possibly won't be talked about at training days if you're a new volunteer or new to the trip. Um, almost certainly won't be talked about if you're coming on board as a new skipper, but it's really, really important. And it is this, it is the game of Uno. Now. The thing is about Uno, it's a really, really simple game. It's uh, it's basically just a card game and you have cards numbered naught to nine and you have a few little extras here and there and you have to end up with no cards left. Sounds really simple. It is really simple, but I've been playing this game since 1978. And let me tell you, there are varieties of rules that you would not believe. So let's have a very, very quick introductory guide to how the Ellen MacArthur Cancer Trust plays so, so first off, what do they look like? Well, uh, backs of the cards look like this and you will be dealt a hand of seven. The uh, pack will be placed, the remainder of the pack will be placed face down on the table. And the top card will be turned over. To begin with, it's really, really simple. On a red card, you can put any other red card any any other red card so on this red card we could put any other red card but we could also put a different colored card of the same number Aha! how does it work there's a three put the three on but it's got to be the same number different color same number but then and and, and that's how it works we have four colors of cards red yellow green blue they didn't really go to town with a great deal of imagination on the colour scheme. Why break a good thing? But then it gets a bit more complicated because we've got some extra cards and the extra cards are fantastic. And here is the first of our extra cards. And this is a plus two. Now the great thing about this is when you put it on the pile, and please note this is a green plus two going onto a green three. When you put that down, the person who plays after you has to pick up two cards. Unless they've got another card the same. So it might be a green plus two or, you guessed it, a yellow plus two. So they can put that yellow plus two down on that. And then the person after them has to pick up not just two, but four. That's four cards. Whoop, whoop. And this can go on indefinitely. There are eight plus two cards in every pack. And, uh, well, you could end up picking up 16 cards if you're particularly unlucky. However, let's assume that that hasn't happened to you. It's happened to the person before you, and now it's your go again. So what can we put on that? Well, we can put on a plus two, or we could put on another yellow card, a two. Just as a matter of note, we cannot put on another two. Oh, we can put on another plus two green two but we can't put on a plain two onto a plus two no bad no okay can't be done it's got to be the same color or the same card hey now we're getting there not quite sure where we're getting but we're getting somewhere right there's your two so what are the other special cards aha well this is a good one You've got somebody you really uh, are, are trying to beat and uh, you might want to put this one down and then they will miss their go. Popped it on, the person next to you to play misses a go and you've guessed it. If they've got one of these, they could put that down and then the person after you will miss a go as well and so on and so forth. And all these cards are cumulative. They, they just keep adding up. Ooh. And, wait for it, you can put a blue one on the yellow one. Perfect. One more special card. We have a change of direction card. And, oh, here we go. Here's my change of blue change of direction card. I can put that on there because that one's blue. Blue change of direction. And the play starts going around the other way. Very, very simple. Okay. So I have my hand of seven cards. And I've got rid of several, but 
I can't go. Uh, I can't go because all I've got are red and yellows and there's nothing I can put on there. So what I can do is I can pick one of these up and if I can use it, I can put it down. Well, I can't, I can't do that. So I'm just going to skip my go and carry on to the next one. All clear so far. Now, this is where it gets really exciting because we introduce into the mix the wild cards. Now, these are completely brilliant. So a plain wild card such as this can go on any card. No restrictions. You can't go, you throw down a wild card and you say, I'm going to change it to a different colour. And you pick one of those colours and the person who comes after you has to play that colour. Brilliant. Even better are the plus four wild cards. They are fantastic. Because not only do you get to go on any card and change the colour, but the person who comes after you has to pick up four cards. And the only thing they could put down on there to stop that happening would be another plus four card. Where are my other plus four cards? They've gone. And the best fun of all is when you're playing with an old trust pack that's got nothing in it but 42 plus four wild cards because, you know, it's been combined from a number of other packets. So plus four card, down it goes on the pile, pick up four cards, miss a go. Perfect. Perfect. So I have got to the end of my go. I've only got three cards left, two cards left. The person before me has changed that to yellow and they've had to pick up the four and I'm going to go and I'm going to put down my second to last card and this is the point of the game. This is where I now say UNO because I've only got one card left and if you don't say that UNO, if you don't say it, somebody will leap down your throat as soon as soon as soon and you will be picking up cards like it went out of fashion. But that's the game. And it's really straightforward. However, there are one or two things to know about. And this is where it gets a bit crazy. Everything we've talked about so far is, you know, pretty much just how you play Uno. It's uh, not controversial and um, it's in the championship rules. And I know because I play championship rules. Come to the trust, you start to throw all that out of the window because there's all sorts of funny little things that start happening. So when you don't say Uno, sometimes, depending on the rule, you might have to pick up seven cards. How did that happen? Or somebody will make a rule that if you've got a four and you play a four, you can put down any number of fours that are any colour and put them all down at the same time. How does that work? Well, I'll tell you what it's called. It's called Skipper's Rules. Now, this is my fourth year volunteering with the Trust. And I'm very much hoping that this year I'll be a skipper. And normally when people ask me why I do it, I tell people that, um, you know, it's, it's a brilliant, fun way to spend your summer. It's out on the water, it's working with the best um, charitable trust that I've ever come across and it's doing something really worthwhile. And I give people all those reasons, but it's not really the case. It's really the case that I want to become a skipper so that from now on, skipper's rules will be my rules. Be afraid, be very, very afraid. So hi guys, um, hopefully you will have seen the introductory guide to how to play UNO but uh, just to demonstrate how it actually works, kind of sort of, very difficult over Zoom in lockdown, I've called on um, three friends to help and they will be familiar faces to anyone who's ever been on a trip. So we have on my left, fabulous Wen. Hi! <laughs> Uh, and I am sitting on the head of the amazing Alex, super volunteer, super marathon runner. How are you doing, Al, after your great marathon? Uh, yeah, legs a bit tight, but all good. 
Love that. Legs a bit tight. He ran 26 k's. Legs a bit tight. Whatever. <laughs> um, and then down in that corner, we will have the multi-talented Becky, who did. What did you do for the 26 challenge? I did 26.2 miles on a bike. I did 26 laps around my pigs. I did 26 forward rolls. Um, I did. 26, I can't remember now, um, I wore 26 tomato plants, I found my 26 sheep, um, I was sick for 26 minutes after the four goals. Um, <laughs> I did, a, I did a, a range of things as the day went on. Yeah, well fair enough. So one of the reasons I've asked you guys to join me on this UNO thing is, is that I've been trying to explain earlier that um, UNO played by the trust is not the same as UNO played by any normal human being. So, no. Um, when do you want to tell us about your favourite skippers rules? In fact, I think they're your favourite when rules, aren't they? Um, well, I, I've got some rules that I quite like. So, in my rules, um, if you forget to say last card or UNO, um, then you've got to pick up 26 cards. So I think that's fairly fair. Oh, no, 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 no. Al, what about you? That's a bit harsh. That's a bit harsh. Yeah, well, you know, you get, you, you get your say in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Al, what about, what about your um, rules? How does that go for you? My rules, Skipper rules. Um, well, Skipper's always right. But, um, I don't know, really. Uh, yeah, you can definitely put plus four and a plus four and a plus two and a plus two. Can you put plus four and a plus two, though? Look at this, you see, we've got... I think you can put a plus on anything. You can put a plus on anything. Just keep <laughs> it going. Stack it no, up. You can escalate, but you can't de-escalate. No, you can. Plus two and go on a plus four, plus you four. Can. Keep the game moving. Yeah. So, Becky, over to you. <laughs> As the, uh, currently the only skipper in this little quartet, um, uh, how does it work for you in, in terms of UNO rules? Definitely pluses and go on pluses of any type. That's basically the only rule. Um, can, you go out, hmm? can you go out on a wild card? Yeah, of course you can. Um, um, and what about jumping? I like jumping. We can't always play it. It does depend. They've got to be pretty experienced Uno players. Go so jumping. Um, I do like it. Um, I quite like silent sixes. I thought you didn't like silent sixes. Again, it all depends on when you're playing. <laughs> See, silent six is one of my favourite rules. And I also like the one where if you play a seven or a zero, you either have to swap hands or rotate the hands right around the table. I, I mean, I think those are fabulous rules. No, okay. So who, uh, it's very, very important to note though, um, when we're on the boats, who gets the final say in what rules are played around the table? Oh, it's the skipper, always. Yeah, it's got to be the skipper. skipper it's got to be the skipper of that boat. You can't have another skipper yeah. visiting your boat and then taking over the rules. It has to be the skipper's boat. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, I second that. that one. Um, that will be an interesting thing to see when we um, when we finally come to uh, playing it on the boat. See who, mm. who's... Yeah. Because on your boat, as the skipper, you've agreed the rules with your boat. So it might be, you know, on the Monday evening, you've worked out a few little tweaks that make everyone on your boat happy. And then that boat, when someone visits your boat, it has to be those rules. See, I'm fascinated by that, Becky, because I have sailed with you. Uh, you've been my skipper on a number of occasions. I don't remember there ever being any negotiating on the roof. <laughs> 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 this is the law and we follow it. <laughs> I don't know any skipper that has negotiated their rules. <laughs> <laughs> it's a complete, that's it, it's skipper's rules. I mean, you will... Well, I have discussed at some point <laughs> the, the only reason for becoming a skipper with the Ellen MacArthur Cancer Trust uh, in my previous video, which I'm sure you will all enjoy hearing about. But uh, skipper's rules, you know, I think, yeah, skipper's rules, 
rock. Now, are we going to have a game? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to deal, it's a bit of a challenge, I have to say, with the lockdown, uh, because I'm in um, Dorset. Becky, you're in Devon. Devon. Al is in Sussex. Is that right? You in Sussex? Sussex, yeah. Sussex, and when is where? When, where are you? Yeah. In Hereford. In Hereford, okay. But nonetheless, we are going to deal. <laughs> I am dealing for all of us. I have shuffled. I have dealt my very best hand. Don't give me any dodgy ones. I've also lost count, and anybody who's ever played with me on a boat will know that I can't count up to seven while I'm dealing cards. I then have to count them all again. Uh, I've got my first card. Uh, does that work for people as, a, as an opening card? Lovely. Yeah. Well, we don't get a choice, do we? It's whatever's on top. Okay. Uh, well, so what's currently on top, and um, as I'm the dealer, I think that makes when the next player. So when I'm going to pass you your cards first. Okay. So okay. Now. Oh, I've, I was looking at them. That's all wrong. Okay. Oh, don't look at them. Here are your cards, Wen. I got them. I got them. Perfect. Yes. Um, Al, I'm going to pass you yours down now. Okay. Ready? Okay. Great. There they go. Thank you. I can't actually reach you, uh, so I'm going to pass your hand to Wen, who will pass it to you. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right, Wen, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And there. Okay. okay. Right, okay, they're coming down to you now, Becky. Ooh. You got them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Ooh. Ready? Oh, I like those. Okay, I like <laughs> these as well. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I shuffled. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's cool. Right, when? Uh, just to remind you again, this is what we're currently playing. It's yeah. a nine, a blue nine. Okay. Um, so I'm going to play a miss a go. Ah! Whoa! Straight in. Ah, you're going. Well, look at you. My go. Okay, we had a, a nine, didn't we? So I'm going to go for a. a play on the miss a go. Six. No, it's miss a go, but you can you can do the blue six on that. That's cool. Yeah. Um. I am going to go now when with a oh I've only got one choice. I'm sorry. Okay. Can be. Ooh. Going down and on the play, we can play either plus on that. Either yeah. plus yeah. on that. Yeah. Okay. Well I'm gonna go for plus two then. Alright, so plus Becky two. pick up six. Okay, Becky. Hang on, hang on. Oh. Wow, you got to pick up. Ten. Ten. I'm, I'm going to start making a note wow. that you've got to pick up, actually. Yeah, it's going to be adding this up because I'm going to tot it up a bit more. Oh, my lord, <laughs> it's 14. <laughs> when are you picking up 14? No, it's your go, isn't it? Oh, it's my go. Wow. Yeah. What colour? What colour? It's a plus four. Yeah, but what yeah, colour can so I think? I think red, red's a good colour. Red, red, yeah, that's sounds Red, good. okay, brilliant, plus two. Red plus I'm gonna, two. I'm going to play a red plus two, two. <laughs> Becky, wow. oh, sorry, you've got to pick up 18. But what if you also have a red Hey! <laughs> Ow, oh, how are you looking at picking up 20? You're nearly on my record, my record's wow. 24. Wow. No, I'm, I'm going to max it up again. A plus four in yellow. Ah. Plus four in yellow. <laughs> um, hold on one moment. So we're on 20, 24, when? No, 24 for me. Sadly, when? Sadly. Another one. It's another one. Well, it's okay. And I think we'll go, we'll go. Ah, we don't need to go. Uh, so 20. So I'm going to choose. Uh, we're on 32. Uh, Becky, we're on 32 and it's a green to you. But can I put any colour plus two on? Yes. Yeah, because it's a plus. Yeah, second. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be. Just check in. Yeah, yeah, I've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you skip the rounds, you can do no. what you like. Them. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, wait, 34, Al. You've got to pick up 34. Oh, I'm going to pick up 34. So I'll write it up a bit more. Oh, oh plus eight. Six. When? Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> I don't think he's made it. There you go. 40, 44, Becky. I'm sorry. It's Come on, Becky. For you. Come on, you've got us to be able to go. Let's get out. I'm going to go to the now. But. I just happen to have one more. Great! <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I know how you cheated. Look, amazing. Who shuffled these cards? Who shuffled have, these cards? I might have. I might have, or I might have forgotten. <laughs> what are we on now? We're on pick up 48 to Al. Well, I'm just going to do that. One more. Wow. There we go. Okay. That's cool. well, that could be very, very awkward for me to pick up 52 cards, but it remains. I was going to say, Uno, and over to you, when? What, what are we on? 56. Okay. We'll make it 60. Oh, okay. And Uno! Oh, hey! <laughs> Oh. Ow. It's sorry. It's Becky. Oh, oh no! Hey, it's 62! Ow! I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I've, I've got your 62 cards here ready. All, all counted out. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop these down for you, Al. Okay, they're just coming. And that, my oh, friends, oh. is how the Anna MacArthur cats trust. How does he know?